Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, after a little bit of a shopping spree. Well, not much of one. So we're on to January 3rd. Recently, there's someone wandering around Obelisk Blue Girls Storm. Gosh! That is like, inexcusable! And they say he's pretty good looking. Really? Oh, then I hope I get to meet him. Wow. Women in a nutshell, am I right? <laughs> I'm kidding, Mindy! You're so mean! Oh, I wonder if we'll get to find out what's happening there. Should I investigate who's hanging around the girls' dorm at night? Maybe I should go over there right now! Hey you! Want to duel? There's something interesting about your style. Alright, well, at least now we're finally allowed to duel Alexis. She has an interesting deck of herself, of her own. So, watch out for it. My deck, I feel, is just as interesting. Even though hers goes to a specific type. Um, yeah, let's go with this. And, uh, yeah. That's all for now. Alright, well, I'll go ahead and activate my Robin Goblet right now. Hysteric Fairy! Oh, it has 1800 attack points. And she activated the Sanctuary in the Sky. This could become a massive problem if you're dealing with fairies. And I don't have a field card of my own. If I did, I can just override it. Battle damage to the controller of a fairy-type monster from a battle involving that fairy-type monster becomes zero. So even if she has fairies in attack mode, I can't do any damage to them. So that's gonna be a little bit of a problem. I'm gonna see what that face down is. Clearly, it's not a mirror force. Otherwise, she would have used it by now. What did I get rid of? Guardian Angel Joan! That's actually a good monster. Now, sadly, I don't have the means to bring it out. On my side of the field. Unless I got lucky with a conscription. But it's already gone. Now I'm going to be prompted to see if I want to activate Ring of Destruction. Snatch Steel? Hmm. Actually, let's hold out a little bit. Let's see what you're going to do with that. Uh, I, I don't think so. There. <laughs> Looks good on ya. Oh, speaking of conscription, I just managed to draw it. Okay, no sense to use Rush recklessly yet. But I should set it before the turn is up. Oh, she's not doing too good right now. What did I get rid of? Marie the Fallen One! Oh. Okay. So now she's going to be gaining 200 life points every turn because it's in the graveyard. You know what? I'll be okay with that. What else did I set down? Oh yeah, conscription. She activated spell card Graceful Charity. Huh. This gives me an idea. Let's say she actually draws a monster on the top of her deck. I mean, Conscription is basically you're taking a gamble. Ah, oh, Kestis of Dagla. It's just set. Okay. This is gonna be a gonna be a little worried.
But I mean, I can't just sit there and do nothing. But I can do this. Okay, that's not a magic jammer. But if none of those are negate attack or mirror force, I win. Magic cylinder? Okay, that's worse. That's all I'm gonna do for now. Another set card. It's gonna be a little worried. But I gotta be able to try to crack through her cards. Oh man. Maybe I would have had a chance. Those could have been a trap hole or a uh, torrential tribute. Archlord Zerato. This card cannot be a normal summoner set. This card cannot be special summoned except by offering one face up warrior of Zera on your side of the field as a tribute, while the sanctuary is in the sky is on the field. If the sanctuary in the sky is on your side of the field, discard one light monster card from your hand to the graveyard to destroy all monsters on your opponent's side of the field. Oh my god, that would have been so devastating if she was able to bring that out. Thank god I prevented that from happening. This could have been bad for us if she was allowed to use it. Alright. I'll activate my nobleman across out. That was just the card I needed. So now I can just attack one more time and it's over. There, I win. Yay. Oh, I only got 271 points for that. I guess that's because I never destroyed any monsters as a result of battle. That that would make a lot of sense as to why that was. Huh, I could challenge Zane as many times as I want. Let's back away from that. Who have I not dueled in a while? Dimitri, you'll have to do. Why does your scarf look like it has a foxtail? Okay, so, I'm riding a decent high right now. Hopefully I'll be able to unlock more card packs. Because, I mean, I still feel like I don't have enough variety. Like, right now, I'm trying to make a Fiend deck. But I don't have a lot of Fiends to add to it. Let's save Ring of Destruction for later. I'm okay with offering my Doria to get rid of that obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Ooh, Robin Zombie. That's a good card to have, too. Hmm. I got an idea. I'll bring in Sasuke Samurai. Oh, I use Skull Dice. A one. All right, so it's only 400 attack points now. Oh no, I lose 400 points of damage. What will I do? So <laughs> I actually lured his traps out. Smart play, I must say. Let me go ahead and activate this right now. What are you gonna do now? Lady Ninja, yay! Or yay! Alright, let me see what that does. I do find it funny that two Golemon cards are on the field. Discard one wind monster 
from your hand to the graveyard, return all spell and trap cards on your opponent's side of the field to the owner's hand. We're gonna go ahead and nip that in the bud. Not gonna give you a chance to activate it. Even though I could have just used that effect myself, but it would do me no favors. Okay, so Robin Zombie will get to kick in twice. I, I, I do find it funny that Robin Zombie, like the name of that card almost sounds like Rob Zombie, who used to be White Zombie. What did I get rid of? Snatch Deal and Pot of Greed. Well, I was never a fan of Snatch Deal being used against me many times. Scapegoat! And that's it. Alright. Oh, that would have been so nice to get the, uh, friggin... Oh, what's it called? Got Spear Dragon or Myth Feast? That would have saved me a lot of trouble. I mean, I could easily... Uh, no, I can't win. Because even if I did use my uh, Snatch Steal on one of the Sheep Tokens, he'd still be able to protect himself. So the only thing I can do is try to destroy as many Sheep Tokens as possible. Quite annoying, because I don't have any monsters I can pierce on the field this time. Alright. What did you do? Fairy box! Oh, I hate fairy box. Wait, let's see. Okay, it has to be a face-up monster. Otherwise, I would have just taken that face-down monster for myself. Oh, got it. No, wait, he got it. Remember, I, I'm looking for miss. You can't get them all. Oh my god, he's got two. Alright, Harpy's brother, it's up to you. Can you take down that freaking sheep token? Oh, good! It took three attacks! But we finally got rid of that one sheep token right there. Can you imagine if he plays another scapegoat, and then we just have to repeat the process? Oh, great. Now he's got two face-down monsters. Oh, good! I finally have something that can pierce! Oh, I just mailed through a lot of his cards. Noxious Celtic Guardian, Baby Dragon, Skull Dice, Graceful Charity, Gaia the Fierce Knight. The only plan I really have is to bring in my Dark Triceratops. Please not a torrential tribute. Oh no! That was the one card I was did not want that to be. I just realized I could have used Sasuke Samurai to destroy those set monsters. Son of a bitch! Can't draw a monster. Well, at least I have free reign to attack now. So not all is lost. Okay, good. Finally, I can start doing damage again. Premature Burial. Wait a minute, I got rid of, like, Red-Eyes Black Chick. Nice. So I'm guessing he was trying to bring in his Red-Eyes Black Dragon. Uh, pretty soon, he won't be able to keep Fairy Box on the field for much longer. It's just a matter of time. Okay, he's 
buying himself time. But every turn, it's slowly ebbing away. Oh, he's not going to pay the cost anymore. Oh, for crying out loud. What was the point of that? What purpose did that even serve? Like, come on. Oh, okay. I have to do this. It's either that, or I'm just delaying the inevitable. I have to go for it with this one attack. Oh, he stayed in it. Can't pay that cost. Please tell me he did not. Please tell me that's not another fairy box. No, I bring up this destruction. Oh my! That's so anticlimactic. Why would you go through all this trouble to keep yourself alive, and then throw it all away like that? What's going on at the uh, girls' room anyway? Hey, you! What are you doing? I wondered who it was. It's just you, Banga. Eek! It's a boy! How suspicious! I heard a weirdo was out and about at night, so I came to check it out. But what are you doing out so late at Obelisk Blue Girls' Dorm? I saw him sneaking around here for like hours! That is suspicious. We should inform Professor Fontaine. Oh no. All I was doing was looking for someone to duel. Alexis, he has something in his hand. Isn't that a deck? He must have stole it. Oh, that deck case. That's not the deck case us Obelisk Blue Girls use. So that means you didn't come here to steal our decks. Then why were you here? Seriously. If you're just looking for someone to duel, I'll take you on. But once the duel's over, I expect you to go back to your room. You don't have to sell your hands with him, Alexis. Let me handle this. Oh, she wants to duel me now. Hey, I win the coin toss. Now, uh, you go back to your room. Okay, so this is a special duel. Go ahead and set two of these. Huh, I am cute. Queen's Knight. I feel bad for you. <laughs> Bell card. Oh, Sagan. Okay, so she's going to be using mostly warriors, I guess? Ooh, nice. Robin Zombie. Oh, I got a warrior of my own. I'll save it for later, though. So that's not a trap hole. Air Force? Oh, at least I drew it out. So it's not an absolute loss. Okay, so this could actually be an interesting challenge. Marauding Captain? Oh, that's actually a good one. I can't really change, otherwise it's Wabaku. Oh, another Queen's Knight. You know what? I'll activate Wabaku. I like to keep my man bug out in the field. But 
Uh, what is Marauding Captain's effect? As long as this monster remains phased out the field, you, your opponent cannot select another warrior type monster in your son's field as an attack target. I think I'd rather get rid of Queen's Knights, because Marauding Captain is not that strong attack wise. And if only I could bring out my Barrel Dragon right now. Sadly, I cannot. I guess my best plan is to Kamikaze. Otherwise, I'm giving her the opportunity to bring in another monster. Headhuntress. Oh, with Lightning Blade. Ugh, that's 2600 attack points. We got a little bit of an issue here. That I've been unable to keep more than one monster on the field at one time. Another lightning blade. Oh, oh, you just made the biggest mistake of your life, woman. There, go back to the hand. I'm not even gonna summon it back. She just lost two lightning blades. She could re summon her beautiful head huntress. But I got a stronger monster now. And I can still go ahead and use Robin Zombie's Zombie's effect. I think I got this under control now. Um I don't really know what purpose that served. Unless you wanted to avoid losing cards, then by all means, you do you. But you destroyed your own field card in the process. Well, I'm probably going to lose my Spear Dragon. But I can still bring out Barrel Dragon with a Snatch Steal, if she attacks it. didn't attack it. But I'm worried about that being a trap hole or a torrential tribute. So part of me doesn't want to bring up Barrel Dragon just yet. I don't think I want to summon yet either. Ah, oh, it's a penguin soldier! I still think that was the smarter play. Okay, that wasn't a trap hole. That might be. So just in case, let's only attack once. Oh, she doesn't have a counter. You're not in trouble, you lost. No way! Totally no way! Your deck is freakish! Hmm, not bad. Sure. I know you're not the creep everyone's talking about, Banga. However, I don't appreciate you sneaking around my dorm. Hmm, did you see that deck? It's like weird. It's full of holes, like a Swiss cheese sandwich. Alexis, let me take him down. Please? Pretty please? Pretty pretty please? Mindy, how can I say no? After your duel with Jasmine, I like totally know how your deck works. You'll learn that obelisk blue girls are nothing to mess with. Ugh. 
Wow, I guess I got two duels in one night. Thank God it's not like we're shit for destruction. Where whatever life points I lost carry over. Let's see if her deck is that much different. Harpy's brother, alright. Uh, not exactly a well planned out attack, but okay. Oh, premature burial? Well, I don't have a choice. Oh, right now she's got two set cards as well. So she's probably got two means to try to prevent Harvey's brother from being destroyed. Please be torrential. Oh. I thought she'd be dumb enough to use a torrential tribute. <laughs> but I guess not. Tactical espionage expert. Uh, I don't think so. Wait, what does that even do? Oh, when this card is normal summoned successfully, no trap cards can be activated. I guess it's just for that. Oh, never mind. I guess it's only for the normal summon itself. So, like, it can't be attacked by Trap Hole. That's probably the only thing it needs. As much as I want to attack, I don't think I should. Because that Harpy's brother will just nuke my Spear Dragon. I just gotta hope she doesn't have a high-level monster. Okay, I think I have a chance now. Wait, she just allowed Harpy's brother to be vulnerable. Decision, to be honest with you. Like, it's not as cut and dry as you would think. Because that could be a mirror force. But I still think I should bring in Summon Skull. Even if I'm preventing myself the opportunity to do piercing damage. But I'm still not going to attack. At least not yet. Oh, for sake. Sealmaster may say... So not only did I lose a Spear Dragon, I also lost my ability to bring in Summon Skull! And she can... She has the strongest monster on the field! So my plan backfired! However, I do have a few other tricks up my sleeve. I don't think I need Cosmo Queen. Summon Skull should suffice. This needs to go, like seriously. Oh, okay, let's see. Let's bring in Zolga. I need to start getting some attacks in. Mirror Force. No, Magic Cylinder! Okay. I'm pretty close to losing now. That's all? Huh. 
Okay, here's the thing. Depending on what she brings out... My, uh, Sasuke Samurai might run into a bevy of issues. The reason why I want to bring in Sasuke Samurai is I'm worried about that set monster having a flip effect. Oh, it was a normal monster to bait me. Fiend Scorpion. Go after the one with the highest attack power. So here's what I'm thinking. If Zolga survives, and Sasuke Samurai does not cause me to lose 5 1,350 life points of damage, sacrifice Zolga, bring in Summon Skull, I get 2,000 life points back. Unless that happens, it's another set monster. Actually, I can see this being a sustainable strategy. Here's what I'm thinking. Keep allowing Sasuke Samurai to destroy set monsters, and I'll start bringing in other monsters that can attack. It's a risky strategy, especially if she could special summon a strong monster. But as long as I prevent that from happening, I should be fine. What was that anyway? Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Okay, so it was a non-factor. Alright, so we can pretty much just attack any of these monsters. And we're good to go. Clearly, Mindy's got a, a decent deck full of tricks. While Jasmine was relying on power. Jammer's not the way to go. So let's just leave that in my hand for now. Okay, I got a Mask of Darkness. Wait, did I even use many traps except Negate Attack? No. But I still like Negate Attack to save me. Let me go ahead and activate this. What was that, anyway? Seven Tools of the Bandit, okay. Wait a minute. Hold on, how much damage can I do? 1,700, uh, 2,200. Okay, so either way, I can't win. But I'm gonna sacrifice Zolga. Even though it has the highest attack points of the three, I did need more life points. had some means of powering up my Sasuke Samurai. That would have saved me a lot of grief. You know what? You go ahead and do that. She doesn't have anything! Oh, this is glorious. Since you were able to help me win it, Sasuke Samurai, you're taking the win. That was close. I, like, lost. That's, like, weird. Sheesh. Had your fill? Then get back to your room. Oh well, I'll go home. Stop. If you leave now, the Abba's Blue Girls will be the laughing stock of the school! Banga, weren't you looking for someone to duel? If that's why you came to Abba's Blue Girls' dorm, you got guts. I'll give you that. Then why don't you duel me before leaving? She's weird. She tells me to go home, then she wants to duel. Haha, <laughs> I was only pretending to be angry. In all honesty, I'm curious about your deck. 
And you spent all this time looking for an opponent. You could spend a little more. Sheesh. Let's duel. Oh my god. I gotta duel Alexis again? Look, this is not how I envision me being around three girls. I can have three of them corner me, and now I'm dueling them one at a time. Oh, I don't have many to bug in my opening hand for once. That is rare. Let's start out swinging. I say as I put out a negate attack anyway. Oh, that looks nasty. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, maybe not. That's a magic jammer. All right. What does she have to discard? Soul of Purity and Light. Let's see if I can draw out another trap. Enchanted Javelin. Okay, I still get to attack, though. Ah, an Ajito. Uh-oh, that's a dice. Four. Okay, so that allowed him to special summon Ajito again. Yeah, it says you can special summon one fairy type monster from your graveyard whose level stars are equal to the number rolled. So the same monster just got brought back. That's all? Okay. Oh, spell card mage power. Ay 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 ay. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> you went through all that trouble. I'm gonna play a safe approach here. There, I brought you back to even. Oh, Hysteric Fairy. Oh no, what will I do? You know what? You go ahead and do that. What should I add back to my hand? As much as I like to bring in Fisher, it's uh, a tough decision though, because both are valuable. I'm more worried about flip effects than I am about uh, an attacking monster. Besides, I can just go ahead and do this. I am worried about that face down, though. Which is preventing me from bringing in my summon skull right away. I would have done that by now. Yep, that's what I was worried about. Oh, but I got Sasuke Samurai anyway. So that's not a Torrential Tribute. Otherwise, that would have just been activated right then and there. That'd still be a trap hole. I got rid of a man-eater bug as well. Beautiful. Even though it's got a tiny punch, Sasuke Samurai has pretty much been the star of this video. I'll go ahead and end my turn now. So I think it should be fair game to bring in Summon Skull. Oh no, not another hysteric fairy. What will I do? I kept this out since turn one. And it only just now served me. 
I'm gonna do this. I'm worried about what that is. Aha! It was a trap hole this whole time. My patience actually served me well. Now it's time to turn the tide. Oh man, 40 minutes! I mean, to be fair, I didn't expect, like, myself to be dueling, like, three times at night. Okay, I'm worried that she's gonna mount a comeback after all this. Like, you can't possibly come back from all this. Alright, Sasuke Samurai, you know what to do. That was just a normal monster. What was it? Ah, Dunamis Dark Witch. No, I want Summon Skull to win. I win! Yay! Phew! I lost! No way! I don't believe it! Alexis loses to this loser? Alexis lost! I've seen Alexis duel like 573 times! And this is the first time she's lost! Uh, excuse me? That's because you weren't there for the time she lost minutes ago. Mindy, you counted the number of times I dueled? Banga, you're better than I thought. I'm impressed. But I'm not impressed that you sneak around the girls' dorm at night. Maybe you should come here in the afternoon instead. I can now send mail to her. I can't believe Alexis gave him her mail address. Alexis probably recognized that he's a true duelist. Banga is stunning! What? Banga is... stunning? Mindy! Is this love at first sight again? Well, I don't care. Whatever you do is none of my business. Hey! Alexis already left! Yeah, wait up! What was up with those three? Well, I can now send mail to Alexis and ask for a duel, so it wasn't a total waste of time. Yeah, it was. She's sending me mail now? Shadow games? Those have to do with the Millennium Items or something, right? Since it's called the Shadow Games, maybe they occur during the night. What an observation there, Jaden. Alright, let's take a look at the calendar. Oh, a new pack will arrive on the 23rd. Just in time for the exam on the 26th. Alright, so I think we're going to stop here. Because it has been way too long. And in the next episode, we'll try to uh, bring in some more activities. Goodbye, everyone.